Welcome back to Northwest City Politics in the Know What's Juanita. We're so glad that you're joining us again this evening. We're always happy there are people like you out there, people that are interested in what's happening in our cities. It's important for good government that there be a good flow of information back and forth between city councils and mayors and residents and city staff, so we're glad that you're interested. Now, if you haven't watched our program before, each week we'll have someone on from one of the nine CCX cities, probably a mayor or city council or active citizen, that will help bring us up to date on what's happening in your city and what's going to be happening. And we encourage you, if it's your city that night, be sure to take down their email and phone number. So if there's some issues that really concern you, do take time and be in contact with your mayors and city council people. Now, tonight, we're very happy to have a return guest, <laughs> Mayor Kathy Hemken from New Hope. We've had you on several times you over have, the thank years. You. Right, so we're glad to have you back again and, and update everyone out there on what's happening in New Hope and what they should be watching out yep. for. Now, I'll have you start by introducing yourself out to our wider audience. Tell them a little bit about yourself and your time in New Hope. Well, I've been in New Hope for 42 years. I was on the Planning Commission for 11 years and chaired it and just thought it was a nice transition to run for public office. The mayor's job came up and, and I ran and here I am. Mm -hmm. So I've been the mayor for 10 years, love the job, and I would just continue on with keeping doing what mm -hmm. we're doing. We're making great progress. Yeah, you've had a lot, seen a lot of changes in the cities over time. We have. Actually, in the 10 years I've been mayor, we've added $191 million Ooh, well, to our good. tax base. That's I think that's good. amazing. That, that shows that you're doing something right in what people are looking for, helping to lower the overall taxes mm -hmm. in residents, right? Well, that's staff that's doing yeah. most of the work, by right. the way. Yeah. Well, you've got a lot of people working for you and for the residents, right? Yes, we do. Now, one of the areas that New Hope has been working on for quite a while, uh, I don't even remember how long, but probably 10, 15, 20 years, is uh, dealing with a new police station and a new city hall. Oh. Well, actually, in, in 2014, we, we've known we've needed this new police station for 20 years. Yeah, that's what I meant. People have been yeah. talking about yeah. it. But now... What, what happened when we did a... In 2014, we did a space needs study, uh -huh. which um, we had teams go in and look at, at what we had okay. now, our administrative offices and our police department. The police, where they parked the police cars, was so small, when they backed out in an emergency, they were ripping the mirrors off because Ooh. they couldn't quite get out right. of the police space. Uh, there was no place to do interviews, so if somebody came in, a, a battered woman with her children, mm -hmm. uh, they'd have to interview her out in the hall. Ah. That just didn't seem right at right. all to me. Uh, the, the jails were outdated. There was no place where all the police officers could gather for roll call. None of them had desks inside, mm. so they were working out of little cubbies all in one big yeah. room. And there was no security for the police department, ah. which is a huge deal. Right. And our police cars were getting vandalized. And then they looked at the city hall, and what they found was this building was built before computers. Right. So now there's a whole bunch of wires, and they were laying on the floor, they were wrapped <laughs> around pipes. I mean, right. it just, it was inadequate. The, um, a lot of things weren't working, like the air conditioning and the uh -huh. heating. Sometimes it would be hot, sometimes it would be cold. We had a flat roof. There's a limit to how many years you can get off oh, a flat right, roof. Right. The roof was leaking. We were trying to do the maintenance on the building as long as we could, sure. but it got to the point where it didn't make any sense to do this. We were pouring a lot of money into an old building that was still going to be an old building. When was it built? The uh, 1960. Five yep. was the first one, ago. and there were two or three additions right. onto that. And when they did the additions, they didn't always get the heating uh, infrastructure mm. right, so it, it became a problem. So in 2014, we started actually looking at this seriously. Um, we knew we needed something bigger. We we looked at the soils because uh -huh. that's a, that was right. a big deal where we put right. this because where the pool and the the um, the police or the police station is now the city hall was built there because it's kind of a swampland, uh -huh. and so we knew the the soils aren't contaminated; they were just not stable. Right. This is a big building; you need stable foundation. So we looked around, and lo and behold, 
There were two places on this site that had good soils, okay. where the pool was and where the old city hall was. And the pool was leaking. Right. So we started looking at that. It was going to cost us six or seven million dollars to fix ah. that pool. It wasn't just a little leak, it right. was serious. Right. Didn't make sense to fix a 50-year-old pool because then you're still going to have a 50-year-old right. pool. Right. And it wasn't ADA accessible. Ah. So at that time, uh, what we decided on was to tear down the pool, okay. build a new City Hall Police Station where the pool is, and then uh, when that's done, they would move the uh, City Hall into the new police station, City Hall, and then tear down the pool. Okay. Now, that's the good news. The bad news was $18.2 million to build a City Hall. Right. I say that slowly because that's a lot of money. It's right. your money. It's my money. Right. It's a lot of money. We did not take this. Um, this is a very serious mm -hmm. build. Well, you had several committees and things that several committees. a lot of information mm -hmm. that they brought to the council. We've been doing this for four years. So mm -hmm. we've, we've been doing it slow because we wanted to make sure it was right. The, the administration offices aren't much bigger than they are okay. now. They're about the same size. What we're getting, though, is is space for a community to come. Ah. So there will be a couple large conference rooms oh, that sure. that nonprofits can use. Right. Uh, there's committee rooms that we don't have now uh -huh. that will be there. And of course, the police station is getting uh, much bigger. Mm -hmm. They're going to be able to put their cars inside of the police cars. Oh, yeah, they're going they to be able to put their private. Them, right? Yeah, they're going to be able to put their private cars in a fenced area because uh -huh. they were getting vandalized. Uh -huh. I don't know who vandalizes a police car, <laughs> but they do. Um, it it isn't it isn't extravagant at all. No. I mean, we've been very careful, trying to use what we we could, knowing we had to to rebuild mm -hmm. this. Now the next, and when when I say the eighteen point two million, that's so hard to take because it goes under taxes. Oh, well, we course, had to bond yeah. for right, this, and right. bonding is the same as borrowing. Uh -huh. And we've all borrowed money. We know that you have to pay it back, and you have to pay interest. Right. So what we did is we looked at people's home values uh -huh. and figured out what it would cost them a month or a year okay. on their home values. So I have to look at my notes to make sure I get sure. this right. On a $185,000 home, it's okay. going to be about $136. Now they should have gotten those tax statements oh, in, yeah, this and I last want week. them to make sure that they look at just the city portion right, of that, right? Because the the, the um, well, let me just finish the thought yeah. here. On a three hundred thousand dollar home, mm -hmm. their taxes should go up two hundred and forty thousand. Okay. Now, when we do our budget, the budget is different than the taxes. Right. The taxes are we'll call it levy taxes. So when they did the budget, the budget went up 4%. Okay. And mostly that was wages and insurance because mm -hmm. we're very careful about where we spend our money. Right. Where the big increase came because of the, uh, we, we bonded in 17, right. so now it's showing up in your taxes. It'll, you'll see about 19% increase. Okay. That sounds like a lot of money. Look at your taxes and just look at the city portion. Right. That's the portion that's going to go up 19%. Right. And, you know, it's one of those things we've known we've needed this. Uh, somebody said, well, why don't you just uh, put some money away through the years? We went through a very difficult time when we didn't get any local government aid. Right, right. And we needed to run the city in the same manner that we have, mm -hmm. but all of a sudden we didn't get almost three quarters right. of a million dollars. That's a big cut. We didn't raise anybody's taxes during that uh -huh. time. Instead, we cut back and we weren't able to put money away. Right. So this bond, even though it's huge, um, we're spending it very carefully. Uh -huh. Now the next thing that's going to happen, though, is obviously we're going to build a pool because we did promise people that if we tore the pool down, right. we would build a new pool. Well, that's about. It's hard to say these numbers. <laughs> that's about twelve point four million, okay. and that includes the pool and the. Uh, theater. We have to move uh -huh. the theater and rebuild that. Right. Uh, a possible picnic shelter, depending on the the cost of right. that. We got two million dollars from the state because right. they didn't want just a waiting pool. Uh, they really felt that a 50 meter comp comp competitive pool was in order. 
Well, there are a lot of people from all yeah. around the area, not even New Hope, that use that pool because of being able to practice for mm -hmm. competitive swimming. They pay for it too, by the way. Right, right. I mean, they, right. Don't, yeah, they, they don't, don't use do it for, it for free. free. No. We try to get the swim clubs in before the pool opens uh -huh. so that it doesn't affect that. Right. Uh, but there are times when they're going to have a meet and that pool is going to have to right. close for the weekend. It's a short season, and I hate to do that, but it's really good income for oh, us. Oh, right, right. So the, how this is going to go is they'll finish the, the city hall. Okay. They'll move in about the first part of July, uh -huh. and then they'll tear down the pool, or the city hall that's there, right. and they'll start digging the hole and getting ready to put the pool in. The pool will be open in 2020. Okay. So it's going to take a while to build. Right. And in the meantime, we'll bond for the $12 million. Actually, we're going to bond to $10 million this year, and we'll see how that's going. If we're going to need more, right. then we'll have to bond the year after that. It'll be a smaller number, uh -huh. but still big, right. big number. Right, right. Yeah, no matter number, how. But so that the city website is the best place to go for information, right? Well, it's gotten better. We hired a company called Civic Live and asked them to redo our website for us. Uh, they did that. And it's, it's up and running. It's a lot more friendly. But I have to tell people that once in a while, there's something that doesn't work. Okay. So just recently, somebody was looking at police explorers. Uh -huh. When they typed that, that into the website, it said there's no page like that. Uh -huh. Well, there is. It just wasn't connected. Ah. So I'm asking people to call Keith at City Hall. Okay. And his, his we'll phone put the number, phone number up. Call Keith and say, I tried to look at whatever, right. and I didn't get it. Keith has the uh, capabilities of fixing that. You can't see everything, and we, we try to look at as much as we could, oh, but sure. of course things will slip through the cracks. Right. And if somebody sees that, they would do us a huge favor by telling us that that link doesn't work or it's not working properly, we can fix it. Oh, okay, so be sure to gather that information Take down his number because we the city really needs the help of residents to yes they do ferret it out so that everything is easy to find. Yep, just uh, just recently, the council voted that uh, we would not hire a part time communications okay. person to help Keith. Uh, we want to see how this is working first. Oh, okay. And so we've asked uh, the city manager to take that out of the budget. Uh -huh. And uh, we'll look at it again next year and see if it makes sense. In the meantime, this person's going to be very busy. All right, right. But we also want to, uh, is he busy because he's new? Is he busy because uh, the website takes a lot of his time? Right. We're not sure. You don't know until so you get through it. So it made sense to it. us to take that out of the budget. Right. And then um, we'll look at it again. But. Uh, it's very important for citizens to know that there is places to find answers, but if they can't, to call you and the city council they could, people. They can always call the city council and right. me. Our, our phone numbers are all very, very available. Right. They can simply call city hall uh -huh. and tell them what the situation is and they'll connect them to the right department. Um, I tell people if they feel like they're getting the runaround uh -huh. at city hall, and they sometimes if you don't ask the right questions, you don't get right. the right person. Right. That's when they call one of us, right? And we can we can help them navigate that. We can make sure that the right person gets back to that person, and all of us do the same thing when we tell staff that this person called me right. about this question. Um, they will call us as well as the person to let us know that they've answered that question, because mm -hmm. we want to know. Right. It's we the the city council work for the people of New Hope. Right. Right. That they're our boss. And we expect them to, to tell us. Well, we've got up and coming events coming in New Hope. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the city, the Citizen Advisory Commission is sponsoring a, a snowman sn snow sculpture. Well, tell we, us about we it. Well, we are. Last year it was our first year. We had some really cute entries. Mm -hmm. uh, we made the mistake of closing the entries the first of February. Ah. Guess what happens in March? Right. <laughs> so now they've extended it to March 31st. Uh -huh. um, doesn't cost anything to enter. Uh, a, snow, a snow sculpture or a snowman uh, with a picture of the person that built it next to it. Okay. We don't care what it looks like. We don't care what you call it. Just do it. Okay. You can do it in a park. Uh -huh. You can do it in your yard. You can do it just about anywhere. But submit that photo and uh, there's a website there to to uh, submit it to. 
Right, and I'll put that up on the up on the board. Yep. But it's so they should be able to go on that website. I'll put and, it up and show the picture. Right. Once they build their snowman. And it'll be fun to find out where they're at. Yep. And then go around and look at them. Well, the whole idea is we want to get community involved. Right. This is a small community. We happen to be surrounded by a metropolis. Oh, definitely. But we want to stay a small community. Yes. And we want to do things like light up Zylon. Oh, yeah. Or have a snow sculpture contest mm -hmm. or a photo contest or whatever we have. We want to do stuff that c citizens can get oh, involved right. in. Oh, right. That right. it isn't costing them a lot of extra money. Right. And then uh, we'll put a little plug in for the food and toy drive? Well, that's going to happen on the 15th. Okay. Non-perishable food, unwrapped gifts. The reason for unwrapped, because the person getting the gift has to kind of know what oh. the, the mom or dad that's right. picking it has to know. So you can drop those gifts off at the police department or city hall. Uh, all the food, the actual food goes uh -huh. to near. The gifts go to Toys to Tots. And if you do donate it cash, that goes to Shop with Cops. Uh -huh. Our cops go out with a very select group from uh, near or prism oh. that uh, where the families need a little help at Christmas time. Right. So the cop goes with, you don't just give the kid money, ah. cop goes with and they help the, the child shop for their parents and their siblings. Right. A good, and the a last good support. Thing, the last thing is the letters to Santa. Uh -huh. You can actually write a letter up to 1212, okay. put it in the park and rec there's a mailbox there. And I'm here to tell you Santa will give you your wish. Ah. Well, or at least he'll read your letter. <laughs> right, right. I haven't got my wish yet. So but they I have to bring it into the building or that little drop-off thing outside? Uh, well, they can put it in the drop-off, okay. but they should, if they're going to drive and they've got the kid in the car, they, they should, should bring them, walk all the way in and turn it in. Because there's a real mailbox that's oh, all decorated oh, oh, okay. up. So that do we have know. a couple minutes to talk about snow plowing? No, that's where I was just going to move into. Okay. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. Okay, so first of all, uh, they start snow plowing when there's an inch and a half. Okay. And the reason they do that is because if it's less than that, you you start to damage the streets. Ah. And why? Right. The, the snow just goes away. So an inch and a half. When there's an inch and a half. Or more. Or more. The street, you cannot park on the street. Okay. From curb to curb. You can't park halfway on the street. Okay. No parking on the street until that street is plowed all the way to the curb. And of course, you can never park on the street from 2 to 6 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Throughout the year. Throughout the year. We do that because um, when it's dark and there's a fire or there's an emergency, you want that ambulance to be able to get down the street and pull in. You don't want them to have to worry about a car parked on the street uh -huh. to go around that. Right. Um, when there's an emergency, there's an emergency. And oh. those firefighters and ambulance and police have to be able to right. be safe on that street. So no parking between two and six. Okay. Get your car off the, the road uh, when there's a snowfall. Now, we, we plow the streets first, the main streets. Okay. We plow the, the back and forth streets and the cul-de-sacs uh -huh. get plowed last. Sorry about that, cul-de-sacs, but that's the way it goes. Uh, we do not plow sidewalks. That's the responsibility mm -hmm. of the owner of the property, whether it's a business or a home. Right. If there's a business that isn't plowing their street, you need to call City Hall uh -huh. and say, and, and you're not being a tattletale. What you're right. doing is sometimes cities don't realize. Oh, right. Because if they moved from somewhere else that did plow the streets they or the sidewalks, they might not know. Right. So you need to call. Okay. Um, if we have time and, and staff. Right. Now, keep in mind that if it snows overnight, that staff gets up at 2, 3, uh -huh. 4 o'clock in the morning to get those streets cleared. Right. Sometimes they don't clear them it'll if it snows all night oh they, right right they can't plow at two because it's going to snow hard and there'll be snow again right. at six so they'll wait till like four right of course you don't get everything done yeah but if they plow the main streets at two they're going to have to plow them again at six right and they don't want to do that if they don't have to if staff gets everything plowed the streets and then the parking lots that right. are city parking lots uh, if they have time, on regular time, they'll do a sidewalk. Huh. Uh, especially those big sidewalks like... Uh, on busy on, streets. Like San 42nd, right. where there's not necessarily a building right there. Yeah. Uh, they'll do those sidewalks so that it makes it easier for people sure. to get by. But they don't do it on overtime. They'll only do it on, on straight time. Okay. It's, it's a cost thing. Oh, certainly. They are going to, um, and this is from people's comments, by the way, they are going to plow a couple more parks, oh, trails okay. and parks, 
They tried Hidden Valley last year. It was a big success. Okay. There's something that happens with that. Now, if you think about here's the trail, right. and they plow it, and then it gets a little bit warm and it freezes over. Now you've got a problem. Ah. We don't want somebody to fall. No. We don't want to have an accident. Do they fall less if there's snow? Well, they probably don't use it if there's <laughs> snow. So it's there's a little bit of risk to yeah. doing that. There's also a risk of the person walking on there that you have to be careful. I mean, oh, you can't right. just walk like it was sidewalk. So we are going to try a couple other parks again as a trial, and if they have time, they won't do it uh, on overtime. They'll uh -huh. only do it on regular time. Well, people enjoy getting out in the winter too, right? Well, they they do, and I want people to get out, but I also want them to be very careful. This is not this is not July, and you've right. got a nice clean sidewalk there. And when they plow. Uh, because of the nature of the sidewalk, and it's a lot of times it's blacktop, right. they can't really plow as, as good as they could if it was just a, a flat slab oh, like a parking lot. Right. And if people aren't walking on it, uh, of course the snow doesn't melt, and you know, you know the stuff that right, goes with that. Right. <laughs> now, when if we went all through what's going to happen with the plowing, when is it okay to go back to parking on the streets? Well, if it doesn't snow, okay, or if it, um, you know, like today, tomorrow, mm -hmm. it's not snowing, and you can park on the street during the day. Okay, you can't park after it's been completely cleared, though. Right? If it snows, it has to be completely cleared. Sometimes, uh, what'll happen is a, a plow. If they're really busy and the snow's really heavy, they'll plow, plow one side of the street. Right. Just because they've plowed that doesn't mean you can put your car there. Right. That's it's got to be curb to curb, right. both sides. And if it's a long street, what they'll do is they'll plow all the way down, and then they'll come back. It might be from the beginning, it might be a couple hours. Oh, sure. That doesn't mean you plow your put. And the other thing is, snow plows don't wait at the top of the hill till you get your driveway shovel. <laughs> they, I mean, they have to plow the street. Right. And they don't want to plow you in, but uh -huh. they don't have much of a choice. Right. They cannot lift their plow up because not only wouldn't it put, wouldn't get the snow and at the end of your driveway, right. um, they just can't keep doing that. They yeah. wouldn't get anything done. So right. they just uh, they just plow the whole thing. And, and I'm sorry if you plowed your, 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 your snow blowed your driveway and then right. the plow comes. And it seems as if they're waiting at the top of the hill till <laughs> you get done. The, if they are, they're waiting at the top of my hill because right. it seems like right. they plow that when I get the thing cleared out. So anyway, we're sorry about that. But that that's just one of those things that happens. Right. And, but then people can be prepared. Be prepared. And then information about the plowing is also on the website, right? Yes, it is. So when there's a, a snow emergency, it will say that on the website. Uh -huh. You should be able to just be reasonable. Look at the snow. Mm -hmm. If there's that much, yeah. don't right. park on the street. If you hear noise that sounds like a snow plow, move your car. Yeah. Because the, what they'll do is well, they'll do go they, around your car. Do they tow cars or not? Um, we do not. Okay. However, we just passed an ordinance that we, um, it has to go through the planning commission, uh -huh. but we might be able to do that. The problem with towing cars is now the tow truck has to come out. Mm. This car has been plowed in, right. and now the poor tow truck has to come out to pull it. The tow truck can't drive up and down the street. In New York, if you park on the street, the tow truck goes in front of the plow and simply pushes the car up onto uh, the sidewalk. Out of the way. Oh. You can do that huh. in New York. You can't do that <laughs> in New Hope. So the, move your car. Right. It's as simple as that. Put it in your driveway. If you don't have room in your driveway, you, maybe you should clean out your garage. Uh -huh. Put it in the garage. Okay, and we've got a, just a couple minutes left. Um, we referenced the bonding for the swimming pool. Maybe we can just go through one of the steps that you just took because you are just approving the swimming pool, the pool. bonds, right? We had uh, we had a citizen committee, uh -huh. and they were quite frankly they were split evenly. One week it would be thirteen to you know, it would be seven to six, and the uh -huh. next week it would be six to seven. So they were pretty well split on what to do about right. this pool. That that told us what they wanted in some cases, but it didn't. Uh, cement that right and so we listened to the swim clubs who also had uh -huh. things to say uh, as did the county as did the state mm -hmm. that's how we decided that we needed 50 meters ah. the difference between uh, 
We were originally going to do six lanes of 50 meters. Uh -huh. That's where the $2 million came in. Right. The, the $2 million with the additional two right. lanes, so it's eight lanes for competitive. We'll still have swim lessons because uh -huh. we can have those in the mornings. Um, when the swim teams practice, it's easy for us to say, you can only have these six lanes or right. these five lanes. We're going to have these other three for, for swim lessons. Right. So we'll continue to have the swim lessons. Uh, the pool will have a lot of amenities that kids can use. Ah. And it's going to be ADA accessible. So that those kids in wheelchairs or that have oh, a handicap good. can get in and out of the right. pool and, and use it just like, like everybody right. else. It was not an easy decision. Um, it's, it's costly. We know it's costly. We don't make money on that pool. We think it's an amenity. Uh, we're trying to get some money from the swim clubs, ah. from grants. Uh, they, of course, have requirements. Sure. As anytime anybody gives you money, there's right. strings attached. So they have requirements. We have requirements. Our main focus is that is a community pool. Uh -huh. We want the community to be able to use it. If we have to shut it down a weekend, that we could live with that. Right. Two weekends, I, I can't live with that. Right. I mean, that's that's a hardship for the people that are actually paying right. for the pool. And the people paying for the pool are the citizens, not, uh -huh. not necessarily those swim clubs, even though oh, they, paid yeah, the a, whole city. they pay to rent it, but it's certainly not right. $2 million worth. And then you have a company that helps you decide when is the best time to go for the bonds and which how we to, we have numerous companies lots of working. people giving advice for that the, part. the people that tell us about the bonds that's all they do uh -huh. they tell us when's a good time to do that um, in this particular case for bonding the 10 million this year because of the interest rate uh, right. they said the interest rates probably go up next year this is the time to bond when we bonded for the 18 million they also advised us that that was the time to do that so we have those people working on right. that. We have a company named Stantec. They're engineers. Mm -hmm. uh, they're helping us with the engineering part of the the pool, the new theater, uh -huh. some parts of City Hall. There's another company called Wold, W-O-L-D. Wold is the one that designed the City Hall. We went through many uh, designs of that City right. Hall before we were able to choose something. We went through many designs of the pool before we were able to choose. This is not a decision taken lightly. It's a long-term project. It is a long-term project. Well, I want to thank you so oh, much thank you, for Anita. sharing your thoughts and ideas and what's happening in New Hope and what people should be aware of. We'll encourage people, be sure if any of these issues are ones that are of concern to you, be in contact with Mayor Hemken or with your council members and let them know what you're thinking. Bye.